You ready, Godzilla? All right, when one zone turns on, the other zone automatically turns off. That's the service call. Let's go see what's going on. How are you? How you doing? Good. Good morning. Thank you. What's going on? I'll, uh, I'll, I'm Sean. Hi, I'm Mike. This is Steven. Mikey Pipes? Yes. I saw your YouTube videos, man. That's oh. Why are you here? Uh, Good work. Really? Yeah. Oh, thank you. So I'm trying to replicate the issue now. Okay. Tell me what's going on. All right. So I got two zones, two eating zones, obviously one boiler. This main house is steam. There's okay. a back room that's an extension from like 20 years ago. Okay. It's water board. Water, basically. With water, yeah, whatever it's called. Off the same, same boiler? Yes. Okay. So I've had this off for like 30 minutes. It happens at there every couple hours maybe. This just disconnects, and then the steam just starts fucking pumping. How I stop it is this is nuts. Turn off the other zone. I just, no, I turn it on. I turn it on. This has been going on for seven years. I'm like, oh, I'll get to it event. The summer comes. I never get to it. I never get to it. I'm selling the house. I'm like, I can't. I can't do people like this. <laughs> I saw the sign. Yeah. I'm like, shit. Okay. Um, so it overshoots itself. Yeah. So I don't know anything about boilers. I go down the other, the other day. I'm like, Let me just open this thing up and look in. I look inside. There's a taco thing. Whatever taco. it's called. Whatever it's called. Taco. Taco Bell. Yeah. yeah. It says one zone on it. Okay. Like, why? Why do it say one zone? There's two zones here. So you have it set for 60... Is the heat on or off right now? It's off. And, and they're all cold? All the radiators are cold? I don't know if they're cold, but I, I shut it off. There's one under the window? Yeah. Yeah, so it's cold. So if... Let me get this right. So if I turn this one on, it overfires. No? If you turn this one on, everything works properly. Okay. It's just that if it sits for a while dormant, if they both sit dormant, this just kicks kicks off. Like you, you can't do anything here. There's no power. No power, but the steam starts to go on. How often that does, does that happen? Every couple hours. I mean, I, I turn both, both. And if you turn that one off, this kicks back on. The uh, power to the thermostat. Again. How long has this been going on for? Seven years. Well, since they it converted from oil to gas, so they probably wired it wrong. Yeah, that's what it sounds like. Mm -hmm. All so, right, let's see. And the other one's a nest as well. Yeah. Okay. All right, just using two wires here. And let's go see the other thermostat. You want to be on video? <laughs> no. Okay. <laughs> you can do you. That's fine. I don't want to be on video. That's 62. Also two wires. Let's go see the boiler. Uh, either way. Yeah. Nice big house. Yeah. Nice. All the floors throughout. Served it, served it they got the best water too. I love uh, Valley Mountain and spring water. The best. You know, there's one better, but they don't deliver. The, the aquapon, 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 aquapon. Aquapon. Yes, yeah. Steven. So you're learning, Steven. <laughs> so, you, so if you know me as Mikey Pipes, you know Godzilla. No, no, no. I only saw a few videos and Larry, this guy looks like he knows what the fuck he's talking about. Let me call him. Because <laughs> I've had people here before. I'm like, oh, it looks good. I'm like, this guy doesn't know what he's talking about. Look, man, just tell me if it's wired, I don't know, whatever Well, let's figure it out. So, there's the zone with the bottom of the boiler. You have an aquastat there. And there's the, the supply side of it, sucking water from the bottom of the boiler. And the thermostat on the first floor disconnects, and you can't do anything with it. This is the first floor. All right. This is the, this is the so, bathroom. We should give both thermostats that common, that C wire that it wants, and let's see. What I think is happening is that your zone in the back of the house, when it turns on, it's over firing because it's heating the back room, right, at the same time, and then it's also heating the, the steam. Am I correct? Or no, if both thermostats are off, the steam will just turn on. It gives power. It gives the power back to that thermostat, so it so it works properly. When it's off, yeah. When, it, when it's so okay. it just doesn't function. So if, properly. if that back zone is calling for heat and it's actively heating, you can't do anything with that thermostat. No, it works properly. It does. It work. works properly. Yeah. 
So if this is all for a while, this yeah. back room, this kicks out, and then this thing just fires up, and I'm unable to control it. Because now no, that we, got a wire, we have a wiring. Yeah, we have if a this wiring. kicks on, with I got my Wagos. Anyway, I'm following the wiring chart. And the mistake here, by the way, I got a bunch of Wagos. You can see I've properly using them, by the way. So I just took a bunch of Wagos. I took out some of the wire nuts and this is strictly for testing purposes because what's happening is that the Nest thermostats are not getting 24 volts. So I made my green right here common, right? See it right there? And also there was no ground as specified in the wiring schematic, so I added a ground there as well. So my yellow wire coming from, let's see, coming from the transformer is common, going to this Wago, which only has enough for me for five wires, and then I needed more, so I added it, I jumped to there. And my ground is back there. Let's go to the thermostat. You're gonna see. Equipment detected. RHCW1 and wiring port. No power to common. C wire detected. There's my C wire. There's my RH, which should be 24 volts. And there's W, heating single stage. But we have that error right there. That's all good. Done. So now let me show you the solution. I'll have Steven hold the phone. I'll have the big black thing in my mouth. So, hey! <laughs> All right. So, we know that our yellow is 24 volts, right? Mm -hmm. So, the blue should also be 24 volts, right? However, here is my red, right, from that thermostat, which is going to not my 24 volt side, it's going to the common side. So these are reversed. So, now let's go back to the thermostat. Hold on, let's zoom in. All right, and if we continue, bingo. Bam. We're done. See how easy that was? Let's go check out the other thermostat. And as you see, here, the red wire, which would normally be on RH, is on W. This is my 24 volts, and this is the return power. All right, so they, the only way, the only reason why this one never acts up is because it's getting constant power. 